What's up, Halo Zone? Diddy here, and I'm bringing you a new series that I'm going to be starting. Map Dissection. This will be dissections of all the new maps in the new Halo anniversary that just recently came out. Getting you guys ahead of the game. Going to show you guys where some power, uh, power up spawns, some power positions on the map. Good strategies, and yeah. So let's go ahead and get started. All right. So the first section is first strike and opening routes. This will be where I show you the best way to get the first strike on the map, help you guys uh, get an edge on that Slayer game, and just strategic advantages in general. This is off the red spawn. Most people go through the main front door. I recommend going through the front ground entrance because, you know, people aren't going to be expecting you to come from that angle. They're going to have to move their reticle over to where you are and you're looking straight at them. Easy first strike. This is a good opening route off the red spawn also. Uh, you'll see me and a buddy, I don't actually get first strike on this map, but me and a buddy go through the front ground door, I guess you could call it. And we both go the same route, and it's really close to the overshield, and that's really, really important in this opening route. Because you need to control the overshield if you want to win the game. Now this is off the blue spawn, it's a good opening route to the, uh, the power weapon, over to the sniper rifle. And um, I don't get first strike, but I do throw these starting supporting nades to help my teammates get that first strike. You know, just weaken the opponents and then you can uh, grab the sniper. Alright, so moving on to power positions. If you see my SWAT Chronicles Episode 4 video, you'll know all about this. Where to stand to control the map. Top arch is the best spot on this map for sure. It's where the rockets spawn. You can see the entire map and you can also take cover from enemy fire up here. If your team controls the red base, um, you can definitely just drop back and hide for cover as you'll see in this next clip coming up. Yeah, right here you see the enemy is shooting at me and I'm just taking cover right here, give a little tea bag, you know, and it's they can't shoot me. The only way they can get there is if they get a good nade or get on the other side of that arch. This is another good spawn. This is a uh, sniper platform. It's not really the best because, as you'll see here in a second, very beginning of the game, guy shoots a rocket. It's really easy to die from up there. So not always the, the best strategy, but definitely a really effective position on the map if you can pull it off. Alright, moving on to objective strategies. On Beaver Creek, you'll find Oddball, Assault, and Capture the Flag game types. Now, I only have Capture the Flag gameplay for you guys, but that doesn't mean these strategies can't be used for other objectives. Now, in an objective game setting, the teleporters on Beaver Creek are incredibly useful. It gets you to the other side of the map incredibly quick, almost instantly. Now, I don't have an example of this, but you could, when running the flag, the bomb, or just holding the oddball, you can go under the base, take it through the side entrance, and then go through the teleporter to get back to your base, you know, if you're going to assault or catch the flag. In Oddball, you can hang out around the teleporters, and when the enemy team is coming, go ahead and teleport through, and you're already on the other side of the map, and you know they're probably going to come through chasing you. Now, the only uh, downside to hanging out around the teleporters is you can get nades back there easily. You can bounce it off the back wall, and uh, you'll get naded pretty easily, pretty quick. So, not always the best strategy, but you can utilize it if you're trying to get those extra points in the Oddball or you're trying to confuse the enemy in the capture the flag setting. Now you'll see here me running the uh, the blue flag trying to juggle it and the flag is a one hit melee kill. I'm not sure about the bomb and oddball but I assume so. And um, you'll see me going through the side passage and I don't go through the teleporter. I actually take it bottom middle. The only reason I do that is because I know my teammates have my back and uh, it's really quick and I take a kind of a scenic route. As you'll see here in a second, there is a jump up on the side of the base if you haven't played this map before. Uh, you can go through the glass right here. You, there's also glass right above the flag spawn that you can go through. And yeah, those are some quick tips on Beaver Creek. That's all I have for you guys today. Tune in next week for the next episode. Look forward to that. Uh... Oh, hey, what's up, guys? Just jumped from that lake down there. Now, I want you guys to rate which map you want to see next week. Prisoner, Damnation, Timberland, Headlong, or Hang'em High. Go ahead and leave your vote in the comments below, and I will see you guys next week. Ah.